I just want to have a snuggle. No, I don't have any more. I just had hit, gave him his antibiotic wrapped up in a ball of cheese. So he was making sure if there is any residual cheese. Oh, he is a sleepy boy because he's taken on the Pyrenees characteristic of sleeping during the day and really kind of being more awake at night. And then when Gemma gets up in the morning, he and her have a big romp. <laughs> and he's tired now. Yeah. Look at these ears. They look normal. You look good, buddy. He's got like, um, almost like a scar where he had so much rash right here but the rash is gone there's no scabs nothing i don't feel any sc more scabs on him he just needs his hair to grow in right here there's no more rash he doesn't smell Nothing's driving him nuts. Even where he has a, a still like little red spot, like right here, there's no scab or anything on it. Like just still residual healing, but no, no scabs, no fresh wounds, just still recovering from that body cover. He had his whole body covered in, I think, a, a a yeast infection but um, I believe that the vet had told the the rescue when they took him to the vet that it was more than just um, yeast there were several little things going on there this is just uh, his elbow skin like there's there's a little bit of a sore looking spot right there but it's like I said it's it's from uh, previous, nothing is new. Everything is healing nice. His energy level has been really good. He doesn't wobble when he walks anymore because his strength is getting up there. He's so sleepy. Did you stay up all night and play all morning with Gemma? You did. He's so fine. This is one beautiful dog. I mean, his disposition. He loves affection. He still has that tiny little bit. Um, not as much with me, but a little bit with my husband. He has a little bit of concern at first. What is he going to do? Uh, as my husband approaches him, but he's getting over it because he knows that he's safe here and nobody hurts him. So somebody was not only starving him and letting him rot with infections, but somebody was abusing him because he is very gun shy to, uh, especially men. But he is doing so good here. And that's why I hate to foster dogs because I have so much trouble ever letting them leave me after I say, you know, make them happy. Then it's like, how do you let them go knowing you don't, I feel like I can't know. I know the girl that owns the rescue would never harm a dog with someone that she didn't believe was a good a good fit for the dog. And I I love that about her and I'll always like financially try to to help support that her effort even though it's a small amount, hopefully it makes a difference, but um I can't take animals in and then let them leave. So she knew when I agreed to foster Alex that he would never leave here. And it took my husband and I, you know, a few days, but 
after after we knew what he I mean he was such a broken soul I mean if you've seen the pictures I thought he was dead already in the photo the first photo I saw of him he was so pathetic and skin and bone but Alex won't leave here he'll stay with us his whole life because uh, I'll never I never want him to feel insecure again in his life so um, we'll we'll keep him so that he always knows he's safe here and loved here and well fed here. Honestly, I would be more inclined to budget people food than the animal food. So I'd rather feed him than me. Come on, baby. Such a love. He wants me to let him sleep now. Are you getting tired of me rubbing on your face? You're so fine, mister. You can see his eyes are so much softer and not worried. He was so worried when he first got here what was going to happen to him next. You precious boy. Oh, Alex, you sweet angel. Yes, baby. Oh, you don't want me to stop petting you. Okay, we won't. I'll just hold you. You're so fine, love. Yes, you are, precious. You're a fine boy. You <laughs> sweet boy. I still have to... I can't feed him with the other dogs around because he won't... Um, you know, demand that he get his share. So I have to separate my girls to, from him to feed him because they'll bully him to let them have his. <laughs> and you know, so anyway, that's okay. We work it out, don't we, buddy? We make sure he gets still three or four meals a day. He's still trying to put on weight. He's got a long way to go, but he's stronger, happier, Look at him. He wants me to, he wants, he's pushing me down, like, to keep rubbing. Okay, Mister. All right. Oh, you're so fine. You're so fine, love. What a sweetheart. You like those tensions. Nobody ever, ever loved you like I do. And Bobby. Yeah, Bobby comes, my husband comes out and loves on him and sits with him, too. And they have independent time and my husband is big on giving the treats because he wants him to love him <laughs> so he bribes him with food and that's fine too he gets it what you got itches you need some benadryl it's so warm today again it was cooler last week but i it might be just the flies too we have this uh fan that my husband uh, rigged up by some sort of car part, but it blows really well. And it helps keep the flies off of him and keep his skin comfortable. So, he does good. He does good. You sweet angel. Oh, this is just a fine boy, Alex. This is just a fine boy. You sweet boy. You <laughs> sweet baby. He loves snuggles. Oh, a snuggler. Oh, a snuggler. Oh, precious baby. Say bye, Alex. Say bye-bye to your audience. Everybody wants to know, how is Alex doing? He's doing amazing. Look at that face. Hi, baby. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Alex. 
he's gotten where he likes me to let him out here. Oh, there, Gemma got the rabbit he had. His to the toy. She came and got it. They play with it together, though. They'll take it and they'll use it together. And it's so cute. He wants me to let him out here. Probably more because I'm out here than wanting to be here with the animals. But he's, he's definitely taking on Pyrenees characteristics. There they go. He's got the... No digging, buddy. There we go. This is what's going on over here. The, the two sides of the yard battling. <laughs> The geese on the one side and the geese on the other telling each other something.